Hey everybody, it's me, Russ, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. I am coming at you from the Ford land of recalls. Takata airbag recall. Wasn't just Fords. It was Hondas. It was Mazdas. It was Mitsubishi's, BMWs. Ford got hit by a two. The company's gone. They've been put out of business by the National Safety Highway Patrol. <laughs> this is like a global thing. 19 people have been killed, sadly. Um, Ford hasn't killed anybody uh, from what I've read. So, Tex, here's how to do this really quickly. This, uh, and I'll talk about the vehicles that were affected. But first, let me, let me shout out to my tech, uh, friends how to do this in minutes. Like I'm talking minutes. T15 Torx just works perfectly. Getting these out. There's two holes on the sides. Everyone knows this. Usually people fish around with a screwdriver or a pick to try and get the the thing to pop open. Uh, my master tech found this hack and I'm sharing it with you. So 15 Torx, long pro torque. All right. These for some reason work really well for this and it lines up perfectly with the mechanism that pops these off. So one side, the other side, the thing pops off, undo the wires, two bolts, replace the steering wheel airbag. Now, the one on the passenger side, <laughs> or right, the other one's on the side, that's a different thing. But if you're just doing the, the steering wheel, this is a, a, an excellent hack. And for some reason, um, this brand, again, just push them together, pop those things out, and you can replace the airbag in minutes. I think it pays something like, like point three or point four or something. It doesn't pay very much. But, you know, hey, if you could do it less than 15 minutes, more power to the people. Um, what vehicles were affected by this? Uh, 2005 through 2014 Mustangs, including this puppy right here. Technically not a Mustang, but I guess its VIN number came up and it was part of the recall as well. Uh, 2004 through 2011 Ford Ranger, uh, 2005 through 2006 Ford GTs, um, Ford Fusions, Ford Edge, uh, the Mercury Mylon vehicles. Uh, this one I worked on, this was a MKX. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I get all the, the cars with the numbers and the letters. There's just so many of them. Who can remember all these things? Lincolns, um, they had them too. So, and I always take a picture and save my airbag numbers, right? The serial numbers for, you gotta write them all down and keep track of that stuff or they might not be. There's that, it's frustrating. Um, so make sure you have pictures. If anything comes back, you can say, look, I did this, here's the pictures. We're actually being audited, a lot of the dealerships are, for actually, it was sad, not doing safety recalls. Like, how do you sleep at night, right? Not doing safety recalls, but I guess some of the unrealistic other ones, you know, people just chose not to do them for whatever reason. So that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helped somebody out there. Uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, do something. It's a hack to help you do this task quicker. And if you have one of these vehicles, please take it in and don't get your face burnt off if your airbag goes off, because that's what happens. I'm not sure if that's what happens. I know there's a lot of injuries and, and again, 19 people have been killed. So it's serious. It needs to be done. Yeah. And Syria agrees. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Later. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around.